There's been a big shift at tectonic industries. It's almost like the tectonic plates are shifting. Milwaukee has always been the top tier offering, but it seems as though its sibling, who we kind of thought of previously as a smaller brother or smaller sister, it seems like these tools are now becoming equals or actually Rigid is in some aspects becoming the superior offering from Milwaukee. I know what you're thinking. It can't be possible. No, you can't do this. <laughs> no, really. If you look at the numbers on paper, the new top dog's rigid. Get used to it. You're going to have to live with it. We have some amazing tests coming up that are going to prove this all to you right after this message from our sponsor. VCG construction. You ain't seen nothing like this before. Welcome back. My name is Vince. If it's your first time here, welcome to you especially. And here's the thing. It looks as though, down on paper, Milwaukee Tool is no longer the top dog, the top tier offering over at TTI. They seem to have cannibalized, cannibalized, they're eating their own, one bite at a time. Rah, rah. Rigid, if you look at the numbers, for instance, here in the hammer drills, if we look at their speeds, yes, in speed one, Milwaukee has an additional 50 RPM, but in speed two, Rigid takes over. They're offering an additional 100 RPM over Milwaukee. What we have here are two Contractor grade recip saws, and, and how can I say that? You know, historically, Rigid has been prosumer. So we have consumers, homeowners, DIYers, and some contractors buying these tools. But by and large, this was generally purchased by homeowners and DIYers. Whereas Milwaukee was always sold to contractors. This is a contractor grade tool. No matter where you bought it, Contractor grade tool. Doesn't matter what line you buy, M18, M18 brushless, M18 fuel. They were all contractor grade tools. Now, here's the thing. Both of these tools offer very similar features and you're not gonna wanna hear this, but when it comes down to it, on paper, the Rigid has better stats. This is the new top dog. They both offer orbital action, which exaggerates the stroke when cutting through wood, but they both offer an inch and a quarter stroke length. Here's the thing. The Rigid actually has 3,200 strokes per minute. The Milwaukee has 3,000 strokes per minute. This has 200 more strokes per minute. It's, it's unbelievable. They were able to accomplish that task of offering a higher performing tool with lower weight. Milwaukee with his 12 amp hour battery, you're looking at, oh my God. 12 pounds, two ounces. Here's the thing. People will be saying, oh, you know, this is a 12 amp hour battery compared to Rigid's four amp hour battery. Let's give you a bare tool weight. Wow, Walkie's at eight pounds, 12.3 ounces. Rigid with its battery, eight pounds, four ounces. And then the Rigid with no battery, six pounds, 11.8 ounces. Wow, over two pound difference. We said previously that the Rigid line of tools was looking to compete with brands such as DeWalt with their Octane offering. They were a bigger, powerful, chunky line of tools, kind of in the same regard as DeWalt is with their hammer drills and other offerings. They are very powerful, they're a little bit bigger. It seems that Rigid has done an about face. They're looking to compete not only with their own brand, Milwaukee, but they look to be going after Makita, another company that is known for being very powerful, very reliable, but smaller in stature. We're gonna show you the different modes and features of both saws. We're gonna make some cuts with orbital on, orbital off. Go. I mean, that's fast. Now, according to the numbers, Rigid should get it done faster. I will tell you this much, it's a lot lighter. Tough to tell. Let me know that in the comment section what you think was faster. 
non-orbitile. Let's turn orbitile on. Yeah. Fast, fast, much faster. I will say that rigid does orbital exceptionally well. Yeah. 3,000 strokes, 3,200 strokes. Inch and a quarter stroke length, both tools. That's why the rigid is so much faster, as you can clearly see. I think we should step this up, give, it, give them both something a little bit tougher than some plain old tuba fours. For our next test, we have something that would, in the past, would need to use a cutting torch. But now, with the advancements in blade and tool technology, we're able to use a recip saw. We have an I-beam approximately three-eighths of an inch thick. Let's see how these saws handle it. We're using the Diablo Steel Demon Amped Blade. This is a nine inch blade. It's made specifically for thick metal. And you can see here from 3 16 to 9 16 cast iron, high strength alloys, and stainless steels. I remember a time like you wanted to get through a piece of cast iron pipe. You would, you would go through numerous blades. I'm kind of excited to see if we can get through this with one blade. We'll start this test out with the Milwaukee. Its specifications on paper are not nearly as good as the Rigid, so we'll see how long it takes with the Milwaukee and then see how much faster we can get it done with the Rigid. For this cut, we're definitely turning orbital off. How many teethuses we have left on our blade? <laughs> that was like a hot knife through warm butter. Look at that. Let's see how quickly the rigid could get it done. Although we don't need it, we have a fresh thick metal amp blade. We're gonna put that in the rigid and see how much we can improve our time through the I beam with the better spec rigid tool.
Okay, the tool stopped because the four amp hour battery, it's completely discharged. We have a two amp hour here. It seems that the, uh, the two amp hour battery has been depleted as well. I'm gonna grab one more fresh battery and finish the cut. Remember folks, sometimes things you see on paper don't pan out in real life. And if you like getting real world results, then smash the like button. Here's the reality, not, it's not even close, okay? I don't care what, what it says on paper, okay? This is the far superior tool. Whether the, the Super Sawzall is truly at 3,000 strokes per minute and the Rigid is at 3,200 strokes per minute, uh, you know, th that may be the case, but overall power-wise, Milwaukee just is the more powerful tool. The Rigid, is abusive compared to the Super Sawzall when it comes to vibration. Literally, the amount of vibration transmitted up through my arms and into my shoulders, this, this was abusive. Is this the normal case use? Probably not, but we need to test the outer limits of these tools to give you a more clear, concise view of what they're capable of in the long run. So if we test them harder, for a shorter amount of time, that would give you a better expectation of what to expect in the long run. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, Maybe over here. See you later.